Being in and out of the hospital is hard, but a local group is trying to make it easier by giving children comfort bags. Now, Eyewitness News reporter Lexi Wilson joins us live in studio to tell us how they're giving hope when things feel hopeless. Lexi? That's right, Rana. The Bunny Love Project is trying to spread love and care to children with a bag filled with toys, blankets, and books. It feels nice because they cared about us. Jordan Phillips is six years old. She has stage three chronic kidney disease, putting her in and out of the hospital. They have said as soon as she hits stage four, they want to go ahead and transplant her. And they've told us to get ready. Being sick is tough, but a small gift can make a big difference. It just means that somebody out there is thinking about you or praying for you or both. Even if it's just a, hey, here's a little trinket, you know, or, you know, it gives them something to do because those trips are four hour appointments and they're no fun. They're called comfort bags and Rebecca Countryman is part of the Bunny Love Project, a group who is helping local patients one bag at a time. Whatever gives them the comfort, a coloring book, a book to read, a teenager with a sketch pad and colored pencils, they can just go inside of themselves and find comfort. That to me is giving of my heart to that child. He's loving that. Nine month old Carson Benson got a comfort bag and the smile on his face tells the whole story. <laughs> and we're so thankful that there are organizations who think of children who have medical issues and are willing to uh, put a little smile on their face. Carson contracted the CMV virus in the womb, affecting things like his hearing and eyesight. It's hard when you have a child that has medical issues and you see how perfect they are on the outside and what personality this little guy has, you know. <laughs> Both families walking away with hearts full of comfort even when times are hard. I love that smile and the Bunny Love Project is actually accepting donations for more comfort bags. To find that information head to bakersfieldnow.com. Reporting live in studio, Lexi Wilson, Eyewitness News.